Today, I'm going to show you guys what I think are the best investments during a Bundesliga team of the season. Now, last week's video, oh, mwah. if you guys watched it, you made a ton of coins. I basically told you you're going to be tripling your coins if you follow these investments, and it pretty much happened. I told you guys, good SBC, 82s and 83s for a thousand coins or less. Mason Mount, Thomas Party, thousand coins right around there. Really easy to buy. They went up to 5,000 coins in their peak, settled around 3K. Same thing with Hoiberg. He was 800 coins Thursday. Marquee matchups came out. He was over 5,000 coins at one point. It was crazy. So you more than tripled your coins. We also, what we're going to get into today is some of the Premier League filters that we talk about quite often. Premier League goalkeeper, left wing, and right back. They went up a ton. They were min priced at like 400, 500 coins on Sunday. And they went up to 3,000 coins, 5,000 coins. It was crazy. And that is something we're, we're going to talk about today because... I think if you're on a low budget, you could potentially turn 100K into 500K if you get a little lucky and if you invest at the right time. Now, this video is a little later than I would have liked it to be posted because it was my sister's birthday, my sister's prom, and my nana's birthday. So I'm slacking a little late on the videos. But if you were here early, you know, notification squad or whatever, you guys are going to be making a good amount of coins. Now, let's get into what we're talking about today. We have the low, low budget. We have the low budget. We have the mid budget, the high budget. And, uh... I'm going to talk about what I think the low day for Bundesliga team this season is going to be as well. So if any of you guys want to buy them, we will talk about that. Make sure I mentioned everything I did. Okay, here we go. Low, low budget. Check this out. Premier League team of the season challenge number five. Uh, there were five of these. So, you know, number five. Four out of the five required a Premier League player or an England player. I think this was the only one that did not require a Premier League or an England player. Now, for Bundesliga team of the season, we've had one Bundesliga, correct? Yeah, there's the Bundesliga, and then we had the German one for Bundesliga team of the season challenge number two. So, you can see a little trend right there. Now, what we saw with those Premier League gold common filters that usually do good, not even gold common, just gold, prem goalkeeper, prem right back, prem left wing, they go crazy. Now, you can make similar plays with the Bundesliga, I believe. This is where the low, low budget is coming from the gold commons now last week the prices i'm going to show you guys right now are a little high squad but the rewards are in a few hours and i think that's when cards are going to dip so we're going to look at gold german bundesliga players right now they're down in price they were like 1200 a thousand coins around there um earlier today around content drop because you know an sbc came out with good requirements so bundesliga german cards went up in price but Check this out. They are now 750 coins, okay? The gold wares are pretty much min price. The Baku and the Gunther. But uh, last week, Sunday, Marquee, uh, squad battles came out. By the way, there's a lot of squad battle supply. I'm going to show this right now. Uh, squad battles. I think Sunday is going to be a really good investment day if you're on a low budget, like 100k, even 500k. Say you're buying cards for... 500 coins you have 500k you buy a thousand cards if you're willing to do that your 500k could become two mil easily easily if you have 100k um you gotta buy what is that 200 cards is my math correct 100k 200 cards 500k yeah it's like double okay so anyway uh ignoring that squad battles has team of the season packs in it so a lot more people are doing squad battles you only have to get gold three and you get a Premier League slash Eredivisie team of the season player, 90 overall max, which is kind of crappy. Uh, even in Silver 1, Silver 1, Silver 2. Like a lot of people are doing squad battles just because of this. But you know what else comes with squad battles? Crappy packs, doo-doo packs, jumbo premium gold pack, gold pack, a lot of gold common supply. So last week, we saw that last week, I believe... Premier League goalkeepers, which were 1,000 coins, halved in price and were like 400 to 500 coins. I think I showed you in last week's video. They were around. I, I showed the tip. I, I mentioned it in the free trading Discord. I was like, hey, yo, these uh, Premier League goalkeepers right now are 500 to 400 coins on bid. It's way too cheap. And what happened? I said they'll go over 1,000 coins easily with a good SPC. The next couple days, I think they ended up hitting 3K at one point. We can see them right now. I mean, you can make this play again this week on the Prem goalkeepers at min price, but, you know, the trend is Bundesliga daily SBCs. That is what I am interested in. So, uh, my, my prices I'm going to be showing you guys are more so predictions. So, we saw Premier League goalkeepers go from around 1,000 coins down to like 500 coins. So, I'm, I'm guessing they'll 
pretty much like have in price. So stuff that I do like, uh, positions to look out for in the Bundesliga is Bundesliga center backs, center mids. You can maybe do striker. Let's check out striker. Who do they have for uh, strikers? What do we got? Peterson and some uh, Han in Nidal. That guy. Um, basically 500 coins or less on a Bundesliga German player. If you can get them for 500 coins or less, that's, that's pretty much zero risk. But there are some that do better. I think goalkeepers could do good. One goalkeeper that I think could do uh, could do solid is Ulreich, I believe. If this Ulreich gets cheap, just because he's from Bayern, if he gets cheap 500 coins, I think that'll be crazy. Ortega at his min price, maybe like 700 coins. Seems pretty zero risk, maybe 800 coins. I think you have to pay a little bit more on Xbox. I saw this guy's graphs on Xbox, by the way, they're crazy. Um, keep an eye out on him on Xbox, especially as anywhere below a thousand coins on Xbox, I think would be wild. He moves like crazy. His graph, I think he was like 2,500 coins the other day. It was wild. But uh, keep an eye out for the Bundesliga filters. I think Bundesliga right backs go nuts. Right now, uh, they're coming down in price. There's the French ones, but there's German. We have, I believe his name is Henrix. This card could go crazy. He could go crazy. Uh, he's, I think, the only Bundesliga German right back. So that could make him go up a ton in price if there's a german boon or, a, or either a german or a bundesliga SBC that drops and there's a right back in the formation this dude could go wild just like the prem right backs did uh, i know there's another one it's a right wing back i believe it's da costa i don't know how much he's going for let me check him out i don't know how da costa does actually but i i mean if da costa goes down to like 600 coins squad battle rewards you know i'm predicting because i don't know what they're going to go down to i'm going last week from goalkeepers thousand to 500 so maybe the costa goes from 1000 to 500 you know i'm just kind of guessing you guys are going to have to be on at squad battle rewards and kind of check out you know, what the prices are like feel it out and uh there's that on those gold comments just mess around with the bundesliga filters go through them figure it out bundesliga germans all of them right now what did i say they were they're what 750 I mean, if they go down to like min price, that's crazy. But only, you know, the certain ones do a bit better. You can pick up any random one, but center mids are going to do better. Goalkeepers are going to do better. And the right backs, especially right backs, pretty solid. I think there's like right wing and stuff like that, but I'm not too crazy on them. I think, let me look at right wing real quick. What do we got there? It's just dumb expensive because who is it? Is Bellarabi? Is Bellarabi even a right wing or is he a right mid? Nah, Bellarabi could be solid. Actually, low key. Low-key, Bellarabi could be a solid play. Let me see how much he's actually going for. Yeah, this dude is expensive as hell. He is expensive as hell. There's a lot of gold commons in general that are getting very low. Like, Nesri is a really good SBC card. Uh, 82 overall SBC dude from La Liga. Guess what's up next? La Liga team of the season. This dude's practically min price, man. If you held this dude for a week, I bet with La Liga team of the season, this guy flies. He'll probably be over 1K easily if I was going to more accurately predict it. I'd say between 2 to 3K, but easily 1K, bare minimum on him, especially if there's a La Liga marquee matchup. But uh, there's that on the low, low budget. The gold common side is what we're talking about. I have more specific players that are posted probably vip i not probably there is but free trading maybe i'll send a couple players in there specifically that will do better but that's it bundesliga filters the gold commons now we're going to talk about low budget low budget is the 82 to 83s again here's the issue no one's opening packs with bundesliga team of the season no one cares about bundesliga team of the season so there's not a lot of supply and these cards aren't dropping that much coming down a wee little bit coming down a wee little bit there witzel aren't you aren't you a little naughty boy getting down in price Anywhere near a thousand coins on Witzel, I like. I like. I mean, thousand coins, boom. What are your bids looking like? Are they at a thousand? The bids are thirteen hundred. Um, you know the good SBC cards as usual: Aspi Laqueta, Kovacic, Mendy, Leno, Pope, Pickford, Grimaldo, Pepe. Any of the good SBC cards, um, a thousand coins or less. But the thing is, I'll, I'll show you. For example, Mason Mount, Kovacic. You know, we usually buy them for a thousand coins. Check out their prices right now. They're not. A thousand coins is basically what i'm saying because there's no supply no supply cards aren't really going to go down that much so you're going to have to pay a little bit more than usual uh, i don't know how well the profit's going to be this week as i don't think it's going to be as good as it was last week on these kind of good sbc cards just because the sbcs i'm going to expect the same sbcs we had for prem uh you know this week so the you know 83 plus times five or whatever it was prem uh pack thing is 
I don't think people care about Bundesliga. That's the thing. I, you know, Prem is mad hype. Bundesliga, not really. They can for sure rise. You're going to have to pay a little bit more than usual. But I would not expect as much profit as usual. So maybe they're going to have to pay like 20 to maybe even like 40 to 50% more than you usually do. Because Kovacic, we usually buy for 1,000 coins. He's 1,600 coins. So that's a 60% increase from what we usually pay. Uh, I'd say keep an eye out on them. You're going to have to pay a bit more. That is basically Aspi Laqueta. You know, we were buying him. Let's look at Thomas. I don't want to look at Thomas Party because he's in marquee matchups. So that's a bit tricky. Aspi Laqueta usually buy for around 1,000 coins. What's he going for? Even if you could pay like 1,500 coins on an Aspi Laqueta. You know, 1,500 coins on an Aspi is not that bad. Uh, let's check out Leno, especially the German. The German route, if you can go. Uh, Sule, forgot to mention. Sule. You know what? Let's take a peek at Sule. Sule real quick. Sule is a German center back from the Bundesliga. This guy's mad cheap. He's not usually a good SBC card. I should mention that. But like if a good specific SBC solution comes out, he can do very well. I mean, he's nearly min price. His min price is 700. There you go. His min price is 700. There's your answer. Trap is another one. Trap is an 82 overall goalkeeper from the Bundesliga. If there's a high rated daily sbc for the bundesliga 78 80 overall 80 overall would be crazy 80 overall sbc that re i don't that'd be wild i don't know if they would do that 80 overall sbc that requires a bundesliga player that'd be kind of crazy this trap would go to the moon same with uh sule they would literally be probably over 5,000 coins but uh i don't know if i would expect that pepe another one uh i think i said grimald though dumfries is good those cards thousand coins or less usually do pretty solid uh, and that's that for the low budget side right now. And then we'll go into the mid budget with the 84 overall cards. Let me pull up cheapest player by rating real quick on Footbin, just so I can kind of see what they're going for. 84s, I would say like 2.5k. You might have to get some bids or some snipes on there, but 2.5k for like a, a center mid, a center back, a goalkeeper, a striker, stuff like that. Even some life, left backs or right backs, maybe like a Guerrero for 2.5k. Uh, I would say if you get 84s for 2.5k, you might have to pay a little more than that between the 2.5 to 3k range. And I'll say my guess would be they go to 4k plus. Um, yeah, that, that's my prediction there. Maybe you'll make like a thousand coins per card. Uh, thing is, you guys need to understand too, like when you're selling cards at content is when you want to sell them. Like you, you know, I was saying Mason Mount and Thomas Party were around 5,000 coins. They were around 5,000 coins for like a 30 minute a little more than a, thir a 30 minute window around content because content drop is when cards are, are high if you wait a few hours you know they come down in price so maybe 84 guerrero goes from 2.5k to 4.5k but he's only at 4.5k or like 5k he's only there for like 30 minutes or so you know what i mean so if you're there at the right sell window you'll be maximizing the amount of coins you're going to make now uh on you know we're at mid budget let's stop here and talk about this alfonso davies did you guys watch last week's video i said if alfonso davies gets into team of the season because it's like a popularity thing it's not really how good are you he will uh fly in price he was 2.2k in that video what do you guys think alfonso davies is, in that, is now you know little dora can you tell me how much alfonso davies is I, that's what dora would say i don't know can you say alfonso davies how much is he Show me my money. 5.9K. 5.9K. He was 2.2K. So talking about this, we're going to mention La Liga's next. Are you okay with holding for about a week? Are you? If you are, listen up. If not, skip forward maybe like a minute. Look into La Liga team of the season. Who will probably get in there? I don't know. I don't watch the Spanish league, but I do know Vinicius Jr. is good. I do know um, Benzema is good. I do know... I, I, I don't know, but I think Modric would be good. High-rated fodder will do decent as well. Look at If you want to see how fodder does, look at uh, Kostic. Kostic was 3K. I think he's like 5K now. He's way over the price of what usual 84s go for. Um, Muller's like 3K over the price of 87s, what they're going for. So like high-rated fodder will do good as well. Um, man, I don't watch La Liga. Is, is Eder Militao? Is he good? People always hype him up when I, when I watch a Real Madrid game. Uh, so maybe Adir Militao. I don't know if Alaba's good. Uh, Acuna, if he got in, he's a really good um, SBC card. I think he's an 84 overall left back. He does solid. Uh, just 
if you're okay with holding for a week, it really doesn't even matter what the prices are right now. I would get in today on Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday. As soon as those leaks start coming in, they start going up in price. So definitely um, a lot of league investments could be really solid, especially if you watch the league and kind of know who's going to get in. I don't, so I have no idea. You know, you know the few Vinny Benzema, whatever. Okay, high budget, team of the week cards. Ah, team of the week cards. That was my big investment. I put like 16 mil into team of the week cards. I ended up making like, I think three to four mil, somewhere around there. And, uh, you know, I bought mine for 10K. Uh, around there and they're basically around that price again except these ones are kind of garbage there's uh i shouldn't say garbage that's my that's my polish brother right there zwalinski um i expect the same sbcs like i said so i would expect similar requirements so maybe we'll get like two team of the week requirements in the uh, sbcs coming up for bundesliga um maybe your team of the weeks go from 10k around there to 13k whoop de doo I think it could actually rise a bit more than usual this week just because of the fact that uh, there's not that much supply with Bundesliga team of the season. The thing is, Premier League team of the season, everybody and their mother, brother, grandmother was opening packs. So there was crazy supply. Team of the weeks didn't rise as much because crazy supply. Oh, my God. So uh, there's that. And now the that was the high budget. That was the high budget team of the weeks. I think if you have like over five mil, don't want to buy a ton of SBC cards, you can maybe send that. But personally, if I'm being honest with you, I'm not touching it. But you could if you want to. Team of the season cards. I know you're all like, uh, people always talk about team of the season cards as well. I wasn't going to talk about this, but they're pretty cheap right now. They're like 18K actually. But I'm going to go back to, it's Bundesliga team of the season. Man, I don't think anybody cares about it. I really don't. But um, they can rise with Bundesliga team of the season. You know what they'll do? Uh, my guess is they're 18K about that right now. I say maybe going into the Bundesliga team of the season upgrade, maybe they're like, 22 maybe 24 maybe just maybe 24 but i would guess 22k and then i would guess the spc comes out there's over investment and they go from 22k to below 20k that's my guess I i'm gonna come back to this video later and see how accurate my uh prediction is uh and then for the team of the season low day we're gonna talk about that uh for premier league the team of the season low day seemed like it was tuesday uh, if we look at the graphs, I think Trent was down at like 140 on Tuesday, Tuesday slash Wednesday. He was down around 140. What's he going for now? I'm assuming he's dipping in price now, but let's see. No, he's, he's one, about 150. I would guess Tuesday's the low day. I think the big question is uh, during the week, what lightning rounds do they run for Bundesliga team of the season? Because there's one pack for boon that they've been running that is just crazy it um i think it's like a 25 or 35 percent chance of packing a, a team of the season and it's like a bundesliga guaranteed uh bundesliga only pack where is it at 86 plus star duo 83 plus star duo is it this one there's a 35 percent chance to pack a, a, a team of the season player Ooh, shut up not right now 35 percent chance of packing a team of the season player guess what this pack is it's a one second Oh, and it, 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 okay, or not. I'm just going to mute my phone. <laughs> That's uh, my girlfriend, so I might be in trouble. Um, 83 plus star duo. It's only Bundesliga players. If they run this SBC uh, during the week, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, the cards are going to tank more. Uh, it's, it's, w it's way too high of a pack probability for a Bundesliga team this season. It's crazy. Uh, so if they do keep an eye out, if they continue that pack, I'd say maybe like Wednesday. If they drop that SBC Monday, Tuesday, uh, and then maybe on Wednesday, I don't know if they would do it on Thursday, but if they do it on Wednesday, they're going to die. The, the Bundesliga team of season cards are going to tank. So I would say Tuesday, Wednesday is the low day, especially if they continue this pack. This thing is crazy. It is crazy. Do, do I open one? No, I can't open one. I'm on a sign. If I hit, if I hit buy pack, let's see. Can I buy the pack? Thank God. I didn't want to spend 125K on that, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, there's that. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, let me just make sure I got everything that i was going to mention i talked about the uh low low budget low budget mid budget high budget team of the week team of the season and stuff like that i talked about the la liga if you're okay with holding for an extra week and that's it the gold common squad battles there you go um you guys should be able to make a lot of coins on those gold commons i think if you're on a low budget 100 if you're below a mil send those gold commons man it, just send them anything below 500k you don't even have, buy around a thousand cards your 500k is easily over a mil 
I would guess 500k could hit two mil if you get really lucky. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Any comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, the link for my Twitch, the link for my trading Discord is in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.